So it's not <laughs> cheese. It's it's big cheese. Do I have that right, Coach? The big cheese. The big cheese. How'd you get the nickname, Cam? Uh, one of my best friends from home started calling me one day, and I brought it back to Austin and stuck with the teammates. This is what I'm talking about, the smile right here. Who makes you smile the most? How do we get that out of you? Who does it the best? Uh, I think Coach does it. That makes you smile a lot. You know, he's always positive with me. He always says great things. And, you know, great dude to be around. You want to show him our high five? Yeah, come on. <laughs> good touch. I like it. So we got the good vibes going. We're not lost in the sauce, are we? No. Okay. Lost in the sauce. Okay. So that did happen to him in the App State game a couple times, though. Did it? <laughs> Yeah. We won't talk about that, though. We've got the good stuff coming up. And really, to speak of the level that Cam, the big cheese, is playing with this season, let's talk about the effort that he has shown relentlessly on the court this year. Well, one of the things that I'm so excited about with Cam is he's making multiple effort plays. Uh, here the ball kind of gets bounced away from him, but he's the first to the floor to go get it. He saves the ball for us, which is an extra possession. And now you see as the possession wears on, we end up getting a just okay shot from Eric on the drive, but Cam cleans it up. Uh, Eric draws a bunch of defenders. There Cam is. He's leading our team, obviously, in dunks, and he's a guy that's, that's really rebounding the ball well. Here you see the cross screen for Cam, and you want to talk about this one with Cam here. Cam, when you, uh, when you get the ball right here, what's your mentality? What are you thinking? Uh, I was just trying to attack the rim. Um... I feel like I caught it too far out, so I wanted to get closer and make it an easier shot. But uh, obviously, I came up short, so I <clears throat> wanted to battle for the rebound and end up getting it. Yeah, and you know, Lowell, this is, one, this is maybe my favorite play from Cam all season long because, again, it, it, orcas, it, it demonstrates multiple efforts. Three times he gets his hand on the basketball. The third time is a charm, and I'm really, really proud of the way that he's just continuing to play throughout plays like that. And we also see some effort when the big guy gets out running in the open court. And that's one of the things I don't think people realize with the big cheese is just how athletic, how soft those hands are. And here's a great example. There's no question. I mean, Cam is, is one of the best guys in transition running the floor. Here you see him against the press. We'll utilize him to handle the ball some. We come back and get it with Javon. And now we have numbers. So Cam is running the floor. And when he has some space in front of him, he's really good running the floor. I'll tell you what, the most impressive thing about this play was the catch. Cam, talk about that catch right there. Uh, caught me off guard by a little, a little <laughs> bit because I, was, I, wanted, I wanted the lob. But um, I guess that was an easier pass for him because Prince was also calling for the lob too. Well, you know, there's not a lot of bigs in the country, Lowell, that could make this catch and then turn it around to a quick finish like that. And it seems like you've come a long way with hands throughout the course of your career. How have you worked on that part of your game? Uh, I mean, it's, no, I haven't really worked on it, but I mean, uh, just something that I know I'm going to need to have, I, I know I'm going to need to catch the ball cause, so, my, so the point guards and the wings can trust me to catch it. It also speaks to the maturation that you get with a four-year player. Well, we've made a big emphasis on getting Cam the ball, but one of the things that Darren Horn, who coaches our bigs, has emphasized every single day is that getting Cam the ball is not just on the guards. <laughs> it's on Cam. You know, it's on him demanding the ball, and then most importantly, when it's thrown in there, for him to catch it and do something good with it. And he's done a great job of that all year. Next example, we have the two-man game working here with Isaiah Taylor. <clears throat> yeah, Isaiah is one of the best guys coming off a of pick and roll. And here you see us run a play where simply we're going to take advantage of a, of a switch and get the ball back to him and then get to pick and roll. Now, one of the things that Cam does a great job of here, <laughs> and we've really been on him about this, <coughs> is screening effectively. We tell him, make a collision with that defender. But because he sets a good screen, it draws his defender. And now again, Cam, after you screen, what are you thinking right now? I mean, hoping to get the pass from him as he did pass it. But uh, first thought was just to attack the rim like I did. Lowell, how would that feel to you just to do this one time? Uh, well, I've, I've had that experience on a five-foot rim. But uh, on regulation, that would probably make my life. That would be the moment right there. Well, you know, Cam's a guy that, again, when we put him in pick-and-roll situations, he's really done a great job sprinting to the rim, and uh, his teammates found him there. And as we talked about in the previous segment, Cam is surrounded by shooters, and this is a great example of Cam using that passing ability to set them up. Well, one of the decisions that we try to make teams make is when Cam gets the ball, here you see us moving around the perimeter, we get the ball to him. Now, are they going to defend him with one player? And, Cam, what's the rule when you got one guy on you? 
Go get a bucket. Yeah, go score. <laughs> go score. If he doesn't shoot and he's got one guy on him, he knows he's going to have at least me and Coach Horn on his butt. All right. But if he gets multiple defenders on him, Cam's a very willing and able passer. Here you see him kick it out to Connor in the corner, and obviously Connor can really make teams pay by making open shots. And Cam, we've talked about some of the misconceptions that were that, that are out there about this system before Shaka really got it going. What would you be your, be your message to other bigs out there that wonder how will I be used in this type of style and this type of approach? Uh, well, we have a great coach like Coach Martin. Uh, he'll he'll put you in the right position where you where you'll be successful. I mean, before he came, I, I did I was worried like how I'll be using the system, but I mean he, he's. Worked with me well about getting in shape all this, so I could be ready to play. And I mean, well, sitting in the back of the press, I don't really have to do much but, except for guard the basket. Yeah. What does it mean for you to have it come together like this for your senior season? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I want to close out my college career with a, a really good year. I want to be somebody that's talked about when they talk about Texas, about the history of Texas basketball. And he's showing he's on his way to doing that. There's no question about that. We've been so excited about his progression, his development. He's really bought into the plan, and he knows that he has a whole army of people around him that want to help him be successful. Uh, let's face it, we all believe, as does Cam, that he has a chance to be successful even at the next level. So he's done a terrific job of buying in and focusing on right now what he needs to do, and that will lead to a great future. Mr. Cheese, thank you so much for your time. The big cheese, Cam Ridley, right here on set with us on Game Plan.